What's going on YouTube? Got another commentary here from your one and only Jersey Boy. Um, this is going to be my first time playing Bladestorm and I downloaded the demo on uh, Xbox Live. So let's check it out. I mean I've heard good things about it. My cousin said it was a pretty fun game. And uh, I'll just try to shut up when there's videos and such. So Let's see squad actions. There's a lot of squad actions. Shit. Standard attack, okay, minimap, call squad. Hmm. I have not seen your face hitherto. You are one of those who would seek to become a mercenary. It is no simple task. Only the best prosper. Only the best survive. How long are you intending to stand there? Come hither, would you? <laughs> come hit her <laughs> what the come hit a boy so let's see get to make a character I think that's pretty cool get to make my own character they got all these preset faces once again this is the demo so I'm pretty sure there's a lot more faces and such Show them our strength. Drive them back. And these voices are you know at least you get a little variety of choices here you know so all right. Something of a ladies man, man. Tell me, what is your name? Tell me, what is your name? So, so far I actually think the graphics are pretty good. Graphics are pretty good. I like being able to create my own character and you know, I, I'm a Zhao Yun fan, man. I'm a I'm gonna call my dude. Let's see Zhao Zhao Jers. Oh yeah, real unique, real original. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, and if I didn't mention before, this is a this is a Koei game. This was made by the company Koei, same guys that make Dynasty Warriors, Samurai Warriors, Fist of the North Star, uh, Ninja Gaiden. I shall remember that. get to participate in wars so I just want to check out the menu before I start fighting people look at my little baby stats 15 20 and stuff and here they're just giving me like a little overview of things I could uh, I could most likely do but I just don't have access to right now I think I can consume all oh, consumable items I guess I could find potions or something just carry potions I know, you know, I got all that leather stuff, you know, that soft leather, let's go. I was, even, I was checking, you know, make sure I didn't have any, uh, you know, sometimes a game will give you some free items. <clears throat> like a free little, little buffed up item you could use. So I don't get my ass kicked that bad. I look, swords, horses, and bows. Horses. Okay. You mean cavalry? Most likely, yeah. Bows, ooh. If they're anything like the archers and Dynasty Warriors, then we're probably gonna truck these guys. Know what I'm saying, man? We just we don't play around, okay? Archers don't fuck around. They'll beat your ass. So I haven't played the game before. I've seen like uh commercials about it. Like uh you could control a squad and run in there and do all sorts of like I don't know you could cast a spell or something or you you press a button and your whole group does something they do like whatever you pressed so the squad skills I guess that's what the squad skill buttons were for information not available okay it's the demo so I'm not gonna have everything obviously so a few things you can look at skill points I can level up certain things and skills so that's pretty cool I gotta find tombs and I guess those are the only units I have available to me. Equipable item, a, a beginner bow. Alright, beginner bows. 
So I'm just going to take a shot in the dark. You know, you do a few missions, progress through the game, you find better weapons and such. Like I could go to the merchant, have no money. What? Why is it called a uh, purse? My purse, I have zero D. What the hell is a D? What's that? What's that? Why is it D? What's the D stand for? Over here in this store, you buy things with Dookie. Give me ten pieces of Dookie and we'll give you a sword, boy. Well, guess it'll take me a few days to get those those pieces for you. Unless I chop one up into many small pieces. But anyway, uh, you have like a little option to hear over here what people are talking about and stuff. I guess that's cool. Maybe they give you extra missions. I don't know. All sorts of units out there, infantry, cavalry, archers, blah blah blah. They all have different skills, you just need to check it out for yourself. Okay, so you know, they're giving you small beginner tips. And I'm gonna choose whatever battle I want. Difficulty, one star, I get 1500 dookies. Okay. Well, let's do it. So they're sending me off to my first battle. Normandy's located in northwestern France, or southeast England, across the strait. Because of this, the English and French were constantly fighting each other for the area, and I did not read fast enough. If you guys want to read that, just pause the video and you get to check it out. So I guess right here, this is like a small tutorial battle, I guess. They're just training me what to do. And, uh, alright, Y button I can tackle, I could use Mighty Arm, that sounds pretty cool. Heavy Strike, alright, we got Heavy Strikes, Mighty Arms, I can tackle the shit out of people. Alright, my normal attack is Right Bumper. You know what, for some reason I read that, and, uh, I forgot all about the Right Bumper. I was trying to smash the X button like if it was Dynasty Warriors, and... I mean, I think the game's pretty cool overall, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, I think the game's pretty cool so far. I like this little battles here. I like the huge mobs of people. But, one thing I don't like is the reverse camera angle. Like, uh, my right analog stick, if I turn left, it'll go right. I don't, I just, I want it to turn whatever direction I'm going. Like, I'm so used to the Dynasty Warrior games, it was a little difficult switching over to this getting used to the new controls so you're gonna see my camera angles go a little retard mode I guess and but you know eventually I'll un unfuck it and we'll kill some shit so giving you guys some time to read those if you're interested in reading them if not just come over here and watch me chop some people look at this Aya! Aya! right here I think I remembered the hit right bumper at one point you're gonna see me just running into people like right here I'm thinking I'm attacking I'm like why aren't I hitting and I'm just running in, I'm just running, I'm running, I'm hitting X. And, uh... I'm not hitting anything. I'm really not doing a damn thing. I forgot all about And then right here, I'm like, right bumper? Oh, yeah, right bumper. So I just start chopping people, and... I don't fight for nothing, I fight for love. Ah, just chopping everybody and stuff, and... Look at this huge mob of people just hugging this one guy. Look at that, leveled up too. Yeah, buddy. Uh, chop that guy. But yeah, the, the combat is actually pretty interesting. It's very unique. I haven't seen another game like this except PC games. This sort of feels like a PC game like, uh, let me see, like... I don't know, it, it reminded me of Rise of Nations, if you ever played that, it's like a RTS kind of game, sort of like StarCraft almost, not really, but in uh, Rise of Nations you started off with like, uh, like Indians or something, I don't know, you start off with bows and spears and swords and then you eventually evolve to guns and all that stuff, but 
Anyway, this game just reminded me of it. You run in with a bunch of units, attack some shit, and then change and get some more units. Like over here, look at this. They just crowd up and stuff. I think these are all enemies right there, are they? Yeah, they are. The blue's enemies. I'm so not used to blue, the blue being the enemy. I'm so used to me being blue and the enemy being red. So that was another thing. I'm over here trying to chop red guys and uh, the real enemies are blue. So my health gets super low because I don't know. I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just attacking and for some reason, even though I know right bumper or R1 for PS3 is uh, the attack button I'm still hitting X like I don't know I feel like I'm playing Dynasty Warriors in a way but I'm not and I don't know I, I might actually die I don't know in the, do I die in the tutorial I hope not that would suck so right here I don't know what's happening I'm like trapped in the middle of everybody hugging every person here those guys with the little blue flags I wanna kill them but I, I wanna kill these dudes with the swords first and I actually do die. So while gaining experience is best to fight alongside. Okay, so I died in tutorial. I suck. And then I think here we actually win. I'm not sure. I think now I learn how to do abilities. Do I? Anyway, I learned how to attack last round. So look at that. I got something called Blade Storm. I don't know what that is, but I leveled up. What is Blade Storm? I'm not sure. Maybe we're like invincible for a few seconds or maybe our combo was just that big so we ended up destroying that shit and now we're gonna try a new class out C cavalry unit the horses baby yeah alright let's go guys and we got the ride by slash we got protection and charge it looks like the B button or circle is always your defensive move X I don't know I I can't really describe what X and Y is for every character but so far for the past two characters I've tried uh, these horses and the little soldiers right there with the swords it looked like B was the defense skill for everyone so we're doing charge I don't know why and we run in and we're doing all this damage I hit the Y button do that ride slash thing and that was actually pretty cool and the game's like, well, that's enough. Now you gotta use archers. And I'm like, well, alright, let's use the archers. And uh, my horse disappears, it just vanishes. So, you know, I'm a magician as well. Not only an archer and a cavalry and swordsman, I also know magic. So, set my horse to another dimension, you know. So, over here, just finding out the new things. B is protection again so okay I'm gonna come to a conclusion that B is definitely always defense for every class and X and Y I guess uh, one of them maybe one of them's utility and the other one is your offense your real offense I'm not sure I'd have to check out the other classes again lead Bowman and defeat 20 enemy soldiers so right here after that little barrage attack right there, I feel like archers are like some of the best characters in the game. You sit back, you mow down everybody, and I feel like I really like the archers right now. Nightfall, yeah! So it's turning night and everyone's running in circles, I don't even know what's going on. And it looks like we finished the tutorial. We're going to start the uh, real mission. I get to select where I want to deploy. And where do I want to start? I'm, I'm the red guys and we're fighting blue guys. And I'm just like, where do I want to spawn? I guess I'll spawn here. There you go. We're going to begin at this base. We're going to start the actual mission. And here we go. After arriving on a battlefield, you notice something. Oh, wow. Something tucked in your armor. <laughs> I was like, wait. I had to read that again. Alright, so just a little letter that was inside of there. It was a bunch of advice and stuff. A lot of this advice stuff, I just want to play, so I'm just hitting A to get through. I was getting tired of this shit like a little later. So I'm level 3 with my sword right now. Oh god, man, I was getting real tired of all this shit right here. If you're gonna teach me all this, teach me all of it in tutorial mode. I don't want to get all that stuff in in the real game the little tutorial is cool so I'm out here running around 
advice, know yourself, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just hitting A, I'm like, okay, I want to fucking fight now, stop. And I see all these guys, and I'm like, dude, I have no soldiers, I'm going to get fucked up. So I ran back, and I'm looking, I got to go find red guys, and I get another tutorial thing, go away. Seriously, I don't want that shit. And I see a whole bunch of red guys over here. Oh, look at all those arrows. I would have got smacked right there. Do I want those? Yup. And we're going to go with these horses, baby. Oh, where are they at? Show these guys what six horses can do. Boy, look at that white horse. He should be leading this pack. I should have had a white horse, though. But we're going to run straight into these archers. ay We only did like four damage. That was terrible. So the combat is pretty interesting. Look at this. Hiya! Just chopping people in the damn face right here. Then I do my little riding slash and we just just met just oh my god, we're massacring these guys. I why well, I think we are, I don't know. These archers are not dead yet? Oh man, my horse doesn't like no damage to the archers. Like they do like four damage or something I saw. I don't even know what's going on. I'm smashing right bumper and it's telling my team, find your man, find your guy, attack them. And it's yeah, I do like shitty damage to the to the archers. Look at that nine damage, miss, miss nine. What the hell? I didn't know you could miss attacks in these kind of games. Oh, well, now I know. Look at that, miss twelve, twelve, nine, and miss. What the miss? Missed all those. Miss nine. The hell, you miss so much on a horse, even though it's, like, right on their fucking head. So, I want to go find the new military archers, baby. Hell yeah, right here. I'm like, yup, we're about to clean house. We got a move called Ran Random Fire and Pierce Armor. I guess Pierce, I guess X is your utility or something. Oh, I got dead shot? What the? I don't have a defense move anymore. I guess... In the tutorial, maybe those are suggestions they want you to use. But here, these are like the this is, must be the real deal or something. I don't know. Then again, this is still the demo. Keep in mind, guys. So we don't have everything accessible. So we're just gonna have to use what we have. And the archers do a hundred damage. I guess you can murder anybody as an archer whenever the hell you want. Hopefully, I uh. I keep the archers the whole time because I don't want to lose them. I think they're pretty cool. Right here, I was just like, look at this. I feel like I'm uh, one of those movies step up. I'm like, yeah, boy. Oh, oh, let's go to slide to the left. Oh, slide to the right. And uh, we're going to go inside. Look at all these little guys right here. Hit them with your arrows, boys. And I just run away. I'm like, you guys are fucked. I need new guys, I need new guys, I think all my archers are dead, I got, oh no, I see the number on the bottom left of the screen, I have uh, 8 archers left, so, all oh, my archers could take out swords and shit, oh man, that's fucking badass, so, I guess when uh, in close combat they put the bows away and they whip out these swords and they become gods, now I don't know how to, uh, I don't know how to switch back to the bows, so I'm just smashing this button here, and we're chopping the crap out of all these guys. There's even like a little general there. Look at that, leveled up. Yeah, level four, baby girl. Uh, uh. Just chopping everything here. Get out of my way, boy. I'm a real man. I'm a real boy. I'm Pinocchio. So right here, the base general, and I'm like, that's right, I gotta kill blue people. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna chop this dude. Position seized. So we kill him, we win money and get a lot of XP, I guess. So, I didn't notice, but the ground, that little emblem on the ground was like uh, blue and it turned red as soon as we took it. I guess showing that, you know, it's our base now. And a whole bunch of money and a chest spawn there. And I'm like, oh hell yeah, look at that gold, silver, a chest. And I'm going to take all these... I thought they were archers. Whatever, I'm gonna take all these swords, man, and we're gonna... Oh, look, we got... See, I got my defensive skill back. Defense, shield, attack must be my utility. And, okay, why is my, uh, straight-up offense? So right here, I don't even know where the hell we're going. I'm looking at the map, I'm like, I'm going the wrong way. 
Um, I'm just gonna decide to go back in here. Maybe I can find the fucking way through here or something. I don't know. Let's see. Are those bad guys? Oh, you know what? Nope. This is uh, our base now. Man, I gotta learn how to read this map a little better. It looks like there's a base to the north east over there that's still blue but it's loaded with red maybe we're taking it or something i'm not sure but over here i see so much blue over here and there's a guy called august or augusty august uh, i don't know august august i'll call him Aug august or something and his health is going down so fast i'm not even there yet and then i bring my little barrage of freaking beastly animals over here and look at that yeah, yeah, boy, level five. And we just, we just whoop that ass. We just smacked this dude. Like, oh my god, he died so quickly. And then over here, I'm like, what's this? Who this challenge me, boy? Use your shield attack, hiya! I don't even use it yet. Look at that. My guys just walk in, start chopping everything. They don't even care. They're like, you like to ride horses? Yeah. Well, I like to kill people that like to ride horses. So. All oh, those blue guys on the floor, yeah, boy, red dominance, boy, it's just how we do it. It's how we roll. And I don't even know what I did there. I don't know what that, those two little red people, those two white dots under my uh, yellow bar is. If you look at the bottom left of the screen, I got my sword there, level 5, okay, and then I got two little white people there or something, but I obviously have like 10 people under my control, you can see the arrows over their heads here. Maybe I have control of two teams, two groups, uh oh, we, we're blade storming it. So apparently whenever you max out the yellow meter, you go into blade storm mode, and then when you're in blade storm, I guess your team just massacres everything. Oh, it looks like in Blade Storm, it looks like your meters gain much faster. That's what it looks like. Like uh, your spells and stuff, your uh, squad actions. So I'm stepping all over this blue thing. I'm like, come here, boy. I'm about to turn it red. Mm, we're gonna kill this little archer squad. Level one archer, boy. So you're the leader, and I chop that dude in half. Straight up lumberjack that dude. And over here, we're just, we're going to town on these guys. Look at this. Hiya! We just took another base from the enemy. I mean, they don't need it. I wanted to kill that flag guy, but he ran so damn fast. And then I spot this base commander. And I'm like, uh, dude, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, but you decided to spawn after we killed all your friends. Now you're alone, and we're gonna shield crap you and find your man, find your friend, or whatever. And now we got all these chests here and some more gold. And we're fulfilling contracts within, within the mission. Look how many soldiers I got, man. There's a lot of freaking guys. So. And there you go, contract fulfilled. I guess once I fulfill my small little mission, that's it, I'm done. So, uh, there's not that much gameplay left here. So, I came in first place, I got 700 points from my army. Alexis got us 160, and then the enemies got 157. So even my, even one of my regular generals did better than them, so... My fame level goes up, I get some items, and and uh, dookie, and look, I got a portrait, what's that for, impair? Alright, so I got my allowance, 30 dookie for a day, every day. Alright, so, capturing Odin gave the English forces a foothold into central Normandy. The French determined to take back their poor focus on their strength. Belf Army's unwillingness to yield would lead to more intense, I don't know. Hmm. Well, alright guys, this commentary's coming to an end. I'm gonna check out the diary he just gave me. 
and uh, this is Blade Storm the demo in a nutshell guys just want to show you this uh, real short gameplay of the demo what the game was pretty like I think the game's pretty solid I just don't like some of the controls anyway I'll catch you guys on the next commentary see ya